Hi everyone, I'm Allison Rodriguez. Welcome to 12 Plus. Today we are taking you to Flagstaff to look at the new Astronomy Discovery Center from the Lowell Observatory ahead of its grand opening. Okay, Kevin, thank you so much for meeting us here at the entrance of the Lowell Observatory's new Marley Foundation Astronomy Discovery Center. Right away, I'm already struck. So are we. Uh, actually, this is so exciting. You know, nestled around the ponderosa pine trees, we have the state-of-the-art visitor center. And this is just part of Lowell Observatory. We still have all of our historic telescopes, offices for astronomers, everything here. But this is an experience unlike anything else in the world. Well, let's check it out. Come on in. We have our gift shop and, and cafe, and then we get to the main entry area um, where, where people will do admission. And, yeah. and, and this immediately. Is a second look, huh? Yeah, you're immediately struck by this. The, the theme of this is this is the story of you from the earliest molecules in the universe till you. And then as you're standing here, um, you can kind of see everything almost. To the left, we have two exhibit areas. Um, to the right is our Lowell Universe Theater. This uh, space is designed for kids up to eight years old. It's called the Orbit's Curiosity Zone. I think that kids older than eight years old are gonna love this too, I know they are, because us staff who've tried it out have been um, pretty excited about it. The whole point of the Curiosity Zone is to get kids excited about science, learning, and dig a little deeper, even if you need a little help. The, the idea with this, we don't, we don't have anything in Northern Arizona that's like a kid's science center, kid's museum. And so this is designed for the younger ones, and it's all tactile. Um, we, the only monitor we have um, shows um, infrared, and so as you get closer, you can see us, there we are, showing up, and we have the magical third person, <laughs> our camera person, but there we are. So this is the only monitor we have in here. The rest of this is all textile, or tactile, like this, when this is on, you push on this, and you can create rings that come out of here. And this is this is a kind of a, a more traditional science center exhibits in here. Again, I mean, there's more monitors in here, but it's still tactile. Mm -hmm. So like, you come in and you meet our founder, Percival Lowell, and you can you can feel this. You can feel the canals that he thought he was seeing on Mars, and as you touch it, you can hear a message coming on. And so it's a mix of, of, again different ways we, we observe the universe. And then over on this side is the Lowell Universe Theater. And this seats about 180 people. The screen is 25 feet tall, spreads around, and you can project so much amazing imagery in here. And we're also gonna have live programs in here. And so not only might we play some videos sometime, um, and these videos are specially made for this aspect, but also um, we'll have actors that are part of the program um, interacting with the crowd. So here we are on the second floor, and what a great place to look around. We can look down and see kind of the main floor with the exhibit area. What great views. During the nighttime, we can look up and really get a good view of the surroundings, but during the daytime we do the same thing. Everything we're walking on right now, this is heated. And so when it snows, um, this will melt. You, there are drains in the floor so that um, this will melt and you won't get an accumulation of snow. So we can use this, you know, year round. If it's snowing, really coming down, we're not gonna be out here probably. But otherwise, we can use all of this. This, this, is, this whole thing up here, heated flooring. And then of course, as we get up here, we get to the seats and they're all heated. That's why when we look at the seats, you see all this wiring, which seems kind of odd. And that's for the, the heating elements. Here we are. So again, the seats are around 180 people. And we, you know, we call it the, this Richard F. Curtis Dark Sky Planetarium. And it's, it's not a traditional planetarium. We're not looking at the ceiling, we're looking at the real thing. And I think even during the daytime, this is just beautiful. And this goes back to our founder, who said Im imagination was vital to any advance in science. Thanks so much for streaming this special sneak peek at the Astronomy Discovery Center by the Lowell Observatory. Don't forget the grand opening is November 16th. I'm Allison Rodriguez for 12 News.